I guess a vacation would not hurt. But I do get to see the house in Puerto Rico where my dad and Uncle Henry used to live when they were little. In addition, we will see my grandparents. Hey Felix, I bought some suitcases for us to prepare for our trip to Puerto Rico. Your grandparents are looking forward to seeing you and Elijah. I haven't seen Grandpa Rafael and Grandma Regina for years. But who is going to drive all of us to the airport? Ryan's parents will drive us to the airport. Me and your mother will sit on the second round with Uncle Henry and Aunt Camille. You, Elijah, and Cousin Phil will sit in the back. Oh, well that makes sense. And you haven't been there since the end of fourth grade. That's right. My grandparents will be seeing me again, plus the old house my dad and uncle used to live when they were younger. There's no way I would ever think of detention like crazy. Why the long faces? Ryan, in case you did not know, Felix is going to Puerto Rico to see his grandparents and visit the old home his dad and uncle lived in when they were little. Edgar, we thank you and Haley for taking us to the airport tonight for our flight and watching my car. Yes, we thank you very much Edgar. Henry, Camille, and Phil will be here soon. It's no problem at all everyone. Haley should be here soon, filling up her SUV with plenty of gas. Hey all, we're all here. Uncle Henry, Aunt Camille, Phil, glad to see you again. Good to see you too, Cousin Felix and Cousin Elijah. Oh, I made some snacks for you all on the way to Puerto Rico. I made plenty so there is enough for the Rivera family. Okay, that's amazing Edgar. Oh look, Haley is here now. Hey, you're all here. Well Felix, I will see you when I get back man. You too bro. Well, what do you all say we go to Toby or EJ's house? Good idea dude. I agree with Marina. Hey champ, Felix is coming home this week. Yes 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 yes, Felix is coming home. But their flight will not occur until Wednesday. As soon as Mr. or Mrs. Rivera call me or your mother, we should get ready to pick them up. It's good to have you back man. Really glad to be with you all again. And so you might be asking me, Nicole, where is Jessica? Well, Jessica is on assignment, but she will be back next week. Jeffrey, you may continue the news. Thank you Nicole. We hope Ms. Pellegrino will return. In other news, a shooting has occurred in five schools today, Revere Plains Elementary School Area No. 4, Revere Plains Middle School Area No. 4, Revere Plains High School Area No. 3, Revere Plains Elementary School Area No. 6, and Revere Plains High School Area No. 2. Nobody in any schools were killed, but over five of the shooters were shot dead by police. In addition, police officer Anders Mitchell of the Revere Plains Police Department Northeast Precinct has been gone down while investigating a traffic stop on a young female juvenile. A man with a gun showed up from a stolen car and shot Mitchell multiple times. He ran away after shooting Mitchell. Police caught him, took him down, and he is now in custody. He also has five outstanding warrants for his arrest. We now take you to Jason Lockhart, who was at high school area number three. Jason. Thank you Jeffrey. I am here now with high school area number three principal, Clayton Sedgwick. So Mr. Sedgwick, how many shooters were shooting at the building? Well, there were four shooters, so we had to put the building on lockdown. Officers Heidi Lambert, Susan McCarthy, Hector Carter, Jerry Longworth, and Samir Kirk arrived and shot all the shooters. Thankfully nobody got injured. Jeffrey? Thank you Jason. We'll be right back after this commercial break. No wonder why the school had to dismiss students early today, and no wonder why you got pulled over Sarah. Well, I gave my parents my citation, and they are paying it right now. I sure hope Officer Mitchell is okay. In the meantime, let's see Nicole Muller's performance, as Jessica is on assignment, to get out minds off of the shooting. I sure hope it's a good day at school. And Mr. Remington better not give out another referral to another student. Also, did you study for Mrs. Paget's review? Yes I did. The Crucible is a hard story to study, especially all of this witchcraft. 
I wonder if Act 2 will be easier. Oops, I forgot to use my blinker. Turn signal. Uh, I do not have time for this. We're gonna be late for school. I haven't even had this car for too long. Good morning, miss. Good morning, officer. How are you doing? Doing well. Heading for school? Yes, sir. Okay, I will check your license in the car. Stay right where you are and don't go anywhere. Mom, I got pulled over. I forgot to signal my turn. If it's just a fine you're getting, it's no big deal. Just give it to me and your father when you get home. Okay, I see you have no warrants or any criminal history. Let me just... Ugh, I'm hit. What the hell just happened? I think the officer got shot. I see blood coming out. 539, I'm hit. I need EMS right now. A man shot me and ran away. Today sure has been such a crazy day. I hate school shootings. I agree with you, Michelle. I must say, Tegan, you sure are glad to be with Jose. How did you two meet? It was the beginning of the school year. Me and Jose had stuff in common. Yeah, it was September, when we met in Mr. Jennings's class. Aha, uh -huh, there your bastards are. Tegan Marissa Ziegler, you cannot be dating Jose the loser. Ugh, Burnett, this has nothing to do with you. Also why did you say me and Jose should not be together, and why did you call Jose with the J and a loser? You both should not be dating each other. You're even worse than Brianna Merritt and Ryan Pittman, who already have a crush on each other and we already hate them. You both better break up right this instance, or we will call the police on you. Now listen here Judith, me and Tegan have the right to date, so you cannot be telling other people who to date and who not to date against their will. And you cannot call the police on us for dating, because I am not a pedophile, you nonsensical failure. I'm only months older than Tegan. Shut up Arias. You and Tegan need to break up right now. No, stop telling us to break up. Also, Tegan, you need to stop being friends with Kiana Ellsworth and Kelsey Hernandez, because those two are considered to be criminalized clones of you. And Kelsey, you should not be attending our school, because it's not for fake young singers like you. Melissa Jane Little, why did you just tell Tegan to stop being friends with us and insult Kelsey and her music? Maybe it's time you all realize that dating is illegal, and absolutely prohibited. So why don't all your parents divorce each other right now? We're going to tell every single civilian the same thing. Have fun being single, Tegan Ziegler and Jose Arias. And if you do not break up, we will kill every single one of you with a gun that the fat red blazer daddy has. Oh shut up. What did I just see here from those kids? Kelsey, as worse as Joyce and her gang gets, they always demand people, including us, to break up, because apparently, they consider dating to be illegal. And they even do it to other parents too, since they hate everyone including us, as well as Bruce and his friends. Does that even explain why I cannot date that kid with glasses and red shirt? You mean Felix Rivera? No it does not, because Felix likes to be single. But even if Felix dates you, Joyce and her gang will demand you both to break up. But seriously, me and Tegan are not breaking up. Also, how would Joyce even use a gun? It sure is a good thing I stole this gun, from EJ's fat ass daddy. And you know what else? It's mine. Where in bloody hell is my gun? Did you lose something dad? Yes son, I lost my gun. It was in my room, but now it's gone. Where could it be? I know you would never took it, because you were with Caroline, Stacy, and Toby the entire time. Even better, if he tries to get it back, I will shoot him multiple times until he is dead. So I figured. We can always have some of my... Oh my fucking god, look over there. I even have a better plan. We can kidnap some of our rivals and kill them with this gun, and hopefully we can get away with this. And also, I want to kill every single police officer and politics, and make this world ours. Quick, behind those bushes. How did Joyce even get a gun like that? Did she steal it or use a fake ID to buy one? No idea, but if she is coming for us... Help me God, I do not want to die. We're too young to die. 
Hold on, Joyce has a gun. And I will be Isaac Ashford, not him. Oh crap, she stole the gun from EJ's father. I thought his father said the gun is only used for protection only, not evil or to be stolen. I can't believe Joyce would use that to kill us. We better keep quiet so she does not shoot us with that. Let's go to my place. Well, we're safe now. Anyway, why don't we listen to my first song I created? We had our first date no less than, there you guys are. Tegan Marissa Ziegler, we told you to break up with Jose. And also, you're not supposed to be friends with Kelsey and Kiana. And Kelsey, you need to move back to your original place. For the last time, I'm not breaking up with Tegan. Don't you ever separate our romantic relationship. Well, then say your prayers, criminals. Oh, I don't think so, Burnett. Drop that gun right now. That gun belongs to my father, and you stole it. No, you will die too, so say your prayers. Hey. Felix Walter Rivera, why did you slap me? You do not ever steal any weapon, especially from one of my friend's fathers, Joyce Willow Burnett. And you have no right to say my full name if you cause trouble, or should I say, middle name. Good one, Felix Rivera. As for the rest of you troublemakers, I am calling each of your parents. Well, well, well. Haley Aubrey Pittman. What? Gina Sullivan, you're the woman who got us evicted from our apartment here. Yes. And you are still prohibited for getting Judy fired. Judy? Oops, did I say Judy? I don't know anybody named Judy. Wait a minute, something doesn't seem right. Your last name is Sullivan, and there was an employee at my office named Sullivan. Are you Judy Sullivan's sister? Um, no, I don't know anybody named Judy. Try again, Sullivan. I think you're lying. Andrea, David. You will never believe this if I tell you both. What do you need to tell us, Haley? Well, that woman, Gina Sullivan, who evicted me and my family, I found out she is Judy Sullivan's sister, Judy Sullivan, the woman who worked at the same office as me. She is the one who falsely got us evicted, causing us to live here instead. What? Are you serious? Judy from your office hired her sister to get you all evicted? Why the hell would she do that? Well, I guess probably payback for getting Judy fired for having drugs in the office. Wow, I cannot believe Judy would do something fucking stupid to get you evicted. I think we should call the police, and probably, both of them would get a warrant for their arrest. Mom, Dad, and Mrs. Pittman, what is going on here? What's all the commotion about? Ryan, Marina, and Preston, your mother has found out that the woman who evicted you and your father, she is related to the employee at her office who got fired. What? Are you serious? I knew it had to be fake. It was fake the entire time, dear. Mr. and Mrs. Merritt are going to call the police right now. Judy Sullivan and Jenna Sullivan, you both are under arrest for impersonation of a landlord and attempted assault on a tenant. You both have the right to remain silent. Anything you say will be against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, the court will offer one for you. You have the right to refuse to answer questions and refuse to make statements. Do you both understand your rights? Yes. Yes. Put them in the car. What you both did is a felony. We are sorry for the misunderstanding. You may continue living here. All right. Thank you, officer. I guess Mr. Klein is absent. Maybe, but who knows? Greetings everyone. I'm sure most of you remember me, Ms. Kelly, from Revere Plains Middle School Area Number 1. But if you do not know me, I just gave my name out. I am your substitute teacher for today. Oh my goodness, Ms. Kelly, it's good to see you again. How have you been, Ms. Kelly? I'm doing fine, thank you for asking. I'm still a history teacher for 8th graders, but I wanted to surprise all of you today. I need to tell my friends. My brother will be so surprised. Isaac, Pamela, me and Arthur have a very weird feeling. 
Caroline is really obsessed with her bedsheet, but she doesn't want to get rid of it. Well, did you try to throw it out? No, Caroline says it's comfy. We have to give her new bedsheets that she will like. It may be comfy for her. How about we buy new bedsheets for her and surprise her? Is she even home right now? No, she is at Stacy's house with Brianna. I just have weird feelings that my parents will change my bed sheets. I don't want new bed sheets. I like the ones I have. They are comfy. Well, when I was younger, I did not want new sheets either. Samuel was also like this before I was born. What designs do you like, Caroline? Red flowers. It's good to try something new. Well, well, well. If it isn't Elias Jeremy Ashford again, or should I say, Alien Fakobat? Ugh, Mrs. Hindi, what do you want from me? You are prohibited from going near me after you allegedly harassed my father in public just because he, my mother, and all the other parents got angry at you for failing us, and got you fired. Maybe it's time that you still stop using calculators. You should not be taking notes in any of your classes, because I have friends who I have planned to kill you. What? Kill me? Are you serious? Mrs. Hindi, did you become a gangster or something? That's right, and I am going to kill you and your parents. And you know what, I will also kill your brother too. I will not tell you when your death is coming. My goodness, Dad, help me. Ha 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 ha, he is such a baby crying to his daddy. I bet Joyce is still acting like this, I could be her friend now. Dad, you need to help me. Please. What happened, DJ? Mrs. Hindi unexpectedly showed up and threatened to kill me, you, Mom, and even Miles, just because you and Mom got angry at her for not letting us use a calculator all year long. What? Are you serious? Why would Mrs. Hindi threaten to kill you just because she got fired after we got angry at her for not letting you and your friends use a calculator? She became a gangster. She has friends who are on her side and want to kill me. What? No way. We need to call the police right now. I cannot wait to see other students fail. I should be the only one with good grades. Excuse me miss, but why did I hear from this family saying that you would kill them? Because it's their fault for getting me fired. If EJ did not use a calculator and studied, he would have passed. That is no excuse for what you did to my own brother and his friends. Miles. Let me and your father handle this. Look, Mrs. Hindi, it's your fault for getting fired. You deliberately failed DJ and his friends. They studied hard, but you just wanted to fail them. And also, if EJ did not get into my space, I would have not planned to kill him. Say that one more time. I would not have killed you if you did not get into my space. Ma'am, drop the knife. Drop the knife and put your hands up. No, just shoot me, officer. Or I will kill you myself. Drop the knife. I don't want to shoot you. 581 I have a female subject armed with a knife. Send some more officers. Drop the knife. I do not want to shoot you. No, you pigs will never shoot me. Those guns will be mine. Drop the knife ma'am. You're under arrest. 539 shots fired. Send EMS. Do not move or we will shoot you again. Are you guys okay? Yes. And guess what? Police shot Mrs. Hindi after she charged the officers with a knife. Wait, they shot her? That's right, they shot her. I'm not sure if the bullets were fatal. I wonder what there is to do today. I think I want to learn a new game. How about billiards? Uncle Steve can teach you how to play. Oh, that sounds interesting, Dad. You and Uncle Steve played billiards before? Yes, we have, when we were younger. There you see. Just hit your balls into the holes. Now all you have to do is hit the eight ball. If it does not fall into the hole, you lose. Looks like you beat me. Okay, champ, how about a real game with your own Uncle Steve? Sounds fair. Oh boy. Can't wait for some Hugo's pizza. Oh, hey Hugo. Hey Bert, hey Felix. What's going on here Hugo? Bad news. This place is closed down. The inspection failed. Wait, what? Yeah, sorry guys. 
but look on the bright side, I will still be around, and you can go to other pizzerias. And just as me and my dad were ready to get Hugo's pizza, it closed down. Permanently, well, leave it to me. My uncle Austin likes making pizza for my aunt Courtney and cousins Nancy and Mason. Oh, hey Ryan. Hey, Uncle Austin. What brings you here today? I heard you make good pizza for yourself, Aunt Courtney, and Nancy and Mason. Yes I do, would you like some? Thanks, I wish I could, but my best friend Felix, he is upset that his favorite pizza place, Hugo's Pizza, closed down. You came to the right place champ. I wanted to tell you that I am opening up my own pizzeria named Austin's Pizza. Really? That's amazing Uncle Austin. I can even let you, your parents, your siblings, Aunt Courtney, Mason, Nancy, Aunt Juliet, Uncle Greg, Cousin Samantha, Uncle Steve, Aunt Farida, Cousins Dexter, Kayla, and Luna, your friend Felix and his family to be the first customers. Wow, that's super amazing. Thank you Uncle Austin. Anytime champ. I'm ready to help him out. That is so amazing sport. Uncle Austin would be so glad to see us. You should tell Felix, and I will let Aunt Juliet, Uncle Greg, Uncle Steve, and Aunt Farida know. I will, and Toby, EJ, Brianna, Caroline, Stacy, and others will be surprised too. You don't need to worry Felix. My Uncle Austin is opening up his own pizzeria soon. You will like it, as much as EJ's dad's bakery. And I hope that us, including Brianna, Caroline, Stacy, my Uncle Greg, Aunt Juliet, Aunt Farida, Uncle Steve, Cousins Dexter, Kayla, Luna, Samantha, Nancy, and Messon, are the first customers. Then I should bring Uncle Henry, Aunt Camille, and Cousin Phil along too. Uck. What the hell is wrong with my clock? My dad was supposed to wake me up. Oh no. I'm late again. Mrs. Herman is going to kill me. Man, looks like I am about to get an after school detention this time, unlike when I got five warnings and five lunch detentions. Great, Mrs. Herman unexcused my daddy. Oh come on, not again. I'm late for another class in a row. Two unexcused daddies. I think I am going to get two hours of detention. Come on Neil, you gotta stop being daddy. This is the third one you have gotten today. My god, three unexcused daddies today. I better get ready for a long grounding by my parents. <coughs> Bitch, I am late for fourth period. Hey Neil, why the long face? I got late for four classes today. What? Are you serious? Yes, and I am about to get detention. <coughs> uh oh. I'm late too. I was late 13 times last week. Well, I better run to my class before Mrs. Vincent gets angry at me. She yelled at me as well. You know, at least I was not the only one late for fifth period. Michelle was late too, but for another class. Not only that, but Asher was late for third period. Great, that's the sixth one today. Hey, Neil, Michelle. And Asher, what happened? I got late for all classes today. I was late for fourth period, and Mrs. Vincent yelled at me for not doing my work before that. I was late for fourth period. Oh, well you're not the only one. I was late to three classes today, and Brianna was late to four. Ugh, we all better get ready for detention, because we were all late today, and we were late over ten times last week. Damn it, not again. That's it, I had enough. I have been late to every single of my classes today. Yes, I do see you got a 10-hour Saturday detention. 
eight for each tardy, one for outbursting in the hallway, and one for swearing at your vice principal. Sorry Neil, I have no choice but to tell you this. You are grounded until you serve your detention. Well, I knew that was coming. Wait a second, what are we doing here in this forest? Wait a minute, how did we get here? Oh crap, I think we got on the wrong type of transportation. Can anybody call? I have no reception on my phone. Same with me, and I cannot tell if Dead called us. I thought we were on the RP-22. Same here. That sure was a good walk. I got some fresh air. Ugh, Pigeon, what do you want? I don't have any food on me, so get out of here. Oh my gosh. What in the name of Mark Twain? How did all of these pigeons get into my room? Oops, sorry Stacy. I have a bird suit project, and these pigeons just do not want to resist. There are just too many pigeons following me. And a lot were in my room, because they tried to get my brother's bird seed, when it's for a project. Then what happened? Well, one tried to eat some of my skin. I nearly bleated. Well, how about we help you get rid of all the pigeons so they do not bother you or your brother? Good idea. What the hell? How can too many pigeons be going for us? Well, isn't this just great? The pigeons were eating our clothes. At least they did not eat any parts of my jeans, which some parts are already ripped. Ugh, what kind of neighborhood are we living in? Is this place filled with pigeons? I always wonder new shoes, but I really want new sneakers. I plan to only use them when playing basketball. Oh my, don't these look cute? I want those. Suitable for me to play basketball. Come on Merritt. Shoot the ball. You got the power with your new sneakers. I got you girls, I'm just preparing my shot. Wow, that was such an amazing shot. You're like the greatest. If you were in the 80s, you'd be that man, Michael Jordan. Ah, but at least I tried my best. These sneakers are so damn amazing. Well, I have $50 in my allowance. I kinda want to save up for a new phone. Hey, Peter, what do you plan to do with your $50 allowance? I was thinking a new phone. I had this phone for four years, and it keeps dying faster. Well, you'll need like hundreds of more dollars, because a phone usually costs over $1,000 or $2,000. Yes, I know, it will take me years. Anyway, dinner is ready, so come and have dinner. All right, Mom. And I just need like hundreds or thousands of dollars to get a new phone, unless I find some money on the ground to find and keep. I agree, a new phone costs lots and lots of money. In fact, my brother Casey is also getting a new one. Well good for him. Peter, if you want, I can offer you some money from my allowance. I have about $60 in my allowance, and I can give you $5 to make us even. Oh boy. Second week here at this school. It gets harder, but I am getting used to it, especially because I'm looking forward to seeing Kiana and Tegan, which will be third period. Must get to class before I get a tardy, which never happened on my first week, thank God. Anyway, let's go. Hey, Kiana and Tegan, good to see you two again. I agree with you Kelsey. Um, Kelsey? You alright? What? Yeah, I'm fine Kiana. You didn't get distracted by looking at that kid, did you? Well, I think he is charming. I wouldn't date him if I were you. Tegan is right Kelsey, he is not a nice guy to speak to. Let's just get to our classes now. There is no way in hell we would do such a thing. We just got a referral. So we did not break the principal's computer. You did. No way, you did it. Hell if we know. You admit that you broke the principal's computer. Well, then maybe we will break all your phones and see how you like it. Not over here. You know what? Fight us. Fine. Get ready to bleed you signs of bitches.
God, that was too fucking intense. Haley, any idea where Andrea and David are? Isaac told me they were right here, but it's taking too long. We're actually pretty early, Edgar. Just wait for a few more minutes. Ugh, thank God, we're next. No wonder why we're the last ones. I agree with you, David. There is no way we would have to take long to help Reed pay for the damages after he fell and accidentally broke a window. It should take about... Oh God, here it goes again. Finally tonight before we go, we just want to let you know that this will be our last show for the summer. It's been an amazing journey for the first summer. But we will be back in the fall with new performances and shows. Don't worry, we will still be around. This is our first season we hosted, and the first season of the show. We're very young in our early 20s. And that is tonight's show, I'm Nicole Muller. And I'm Jessica Pellegrini. Have a beautiful summer everyone. Love you all. I need to say, an amazing show and an amazing season. Jessica and Nicole will be back in the fall, as the show shows reruns during the summer. And maybe, our faces will be seen again. Agreed. But look on the bright side, we can still see them around in the summer and chat with them. And surprisingly enough, Brianna texted me saying she was at tonight's show and took pictures with Jessica and Nicole. Amazing picture. Okay, now we are at this park, we will split you up on where to clean. Girls, you will start on the grass. As for you boys, you will see if there are any trash in the water. And once you are all finished, we will go back to our house and paint over the graffiti that the troublemakers did. Well, what if we do not see any trash in the water? I highly doubt there would be trash in the water, even though it may seem like people throw trash in the water. I guess it this park is a mess. Well. Try a different place if you boys do not see trash. If you do, and you get yourselves wet, be lucky you all brought spare clothing with you. That sounds fair enough, Dad. You know, Renee, I bet their younger friends might be painting over graffiti now. Well you know, Jacqueline and Philip called and said that Jasmine, Kenneth, Claudia, Maya, and Peter are hopping out to paint over the graffiti. Thank you for coming to the talent show everyone. My name is Kelsey Hernandez, and I will be performing this new song with no vocals. You can take a guess what it is. I will make it a contest. And about me, I am new to this school, I moved here from Auburn, New York no less than 4 months ago. I am an actual pop singer online, so if you want to check me out, go ahead. But anyway, let's get this performance started.
So, what did you all think of my performance? Kelsey Hernandez, you have done amazing. My three sons would like to listen to this. Just keep up the good work. Ah, thank you Mr. Sedgwick. And just to let you all know, the contest is to guess the song name. The prize is a $50 gift card. Winners will be announced at the end of this month. You all are amazing, and once again, if you want to check out my songs, it's online at my Kelsey Hernandez website. Thank you all for coming again and hope you enjoyed my performance. Kelsey, we are so proud of you performing your best music. What will you do if you earn the money for your songs? I actually want to donate some of my money to charity, and keep some for us. How about we all go to a steakhouse for dinner as a reward for best performance? Sweet mother of Teddy Roosevelt. That sounds amazing dad. Alright then, let's go. I mean, even though you boys don't like Kelsey Hernandez, you still liked her music, right? Not bad to be honest. Even though we four hate Kelsey at this point, including Felix, her performance was alright. We showed good sportsmanship just for the hell of it. That's good. You might be becoming positive. I agree. But right now, let's go to one of our... What the hell was that? Well, here we go again.